the sh number of continents recognized globally varies depending on the geographical criteria used and the educational systems of different countries or regions. While some models recognize five continents, others acknowledge six or seven. Below is an overview of the most common continental models, the criteria that define them, and how various educational systems adopt these classifications. Hama 1. Common Continental Models A. Seven Continent Model Overview. The seven continent model is the most widely taught and accepted model in many parts of the world, including North America, Europe, and Australia. Continents. 1. Africa. 2. Antarctica. 3. Asia, Europe. 5. North America. 6. South America. 7. Oceania. Geographical criteria. Physical separation. Each continent is a distinct landmass separated by major oceans or significant geographical features. Cultural and historical distinctions. Continents are recognized not only by landmass, but also by unique cultural, historical, and linguistic identities. Tectonic boundaries. Continents generally sit on separate tectonic plates, contributing to their geological distinction. Educational systems. North America. Schools in the United States and Canada predominantly teach the seven-continent model. Europe. Most European countries follow the seven-continent framework. Australia and Oceania. Educational curricula in Australia and New Zealand adopt the seven-continent model, recognizing Oceania as a distinct continent. Africa. Most African countries teach the seven-continent model, emphasizing Africa as one of the primary continents. B. Six-continent models. There are two main variations of the six-continent model. Hack I, America as a single continent. Continents, one, Africa, two, Antarctica, three, Asia, four, Europe, five, America, North and South America combined, six, Oceania. Geographical criteria, single landmass concept. North America and South America are considered one continuous landmass without the need to separate them into two distinct continents. Cultural unity. Emphasis on the cultural, historical, and economic connections between North and South America. Educational systems. Europe. Countries like France, Germany, and others in Western Europe often use this model. Latin America. Many Latin American countries adopt the six-continent framework, treating the Americas as a single entity. Some international contexts. Certain international organizations and private educational institutions may also use this model. EI, Eurasia as a single continent, continents, one, Africa, two, Antarctica, three, Eurasia, Europe and Asia combined, four, North America, five, South America, six, Oceania, geographical criteria, continuous landmass, Europe and Asia form one uninterrupted landmass, making the distinction more cultural and historical than geographical. Tectonic plates, Eurasia sits on a single tectonic plate, further justifying the combination. Educational systems, Russia and surrounding regions. Countries in Eastern Europe and Central Asia, including Russia, often teach Eurasia as a single continent. Some international and private schools worldwide may adopt this model to reflect geological realities. See five continent model. Overview, the five continent model is primarily symbolic and is often used in specific contexts like the Olympic games. Continents, one, Africa, two, America, three, Asia, four, Europe, five, Oceania. Geographical criteria, symbolic representation, focuses on inhabited continents, excluding Antarctica due to its lack of a permanent human population. Cultural and economic groupings, emphasizes significant cultural and economic regions. Educational systems, international organizations, used by institutions like the International Olympic Committee. Some educational contexts may appear in certain textbooks or curricula that prioritize symbolic representations over st strict geographical accuracy. Two, factors influencing continental classification. A, physical separation, oceans and seas, major bodies of water like the Atlantic, Pacific, Indian, Arctic, and Southern oceans serve as natural boundaries between continents. Mountain ranges and landforms, Features such as the Ural Mountains, separating Europe and Asia, and the Isthmus of Panama, connecting North and South America, influence continental boundaries. B. Tectonic plates. Plate boundaries. 
Continents generally reside on distinct tectonic plates, though some plates span multiple continents. Geological unity. The concept of Eurasia arises from Europe and Asia sharing the same tectonic plate. C. Cultural and historical factors. Human perception. The distinction between Europe and Asia is largely cultural and historical, rather than strictly geographical. Colonial and political history. Historical interactions, colonization patterns, and political boundaries have influenced how continents are perceived and taught. D. Size and population. Landmass size. Larger landmasses are more likely to be considered separate continents. Population centers. Areas with significant human populations and cultural developments are often designated as continents. 3. Educational systems and continental models. A. North American educational system, model used, seven continent model. Teaching approach, students learn about Africa, Antarctica, Asia, Europe, North America, South America, and Oceania as distinct continents. Resources, textbooks, maps, and educational materials consistently reflect the seven continent framework. B, European educational systems, predominant models, seven continents and six continents, America as a single continent or Eurasia, Variation by country, Western Europe, generally follows the seven continent model. Eastern Europe and Central Asia may adopt the Eurasia model. Southern Europe, countries like Italy and Spain may use the six continent model by combining the Americas. Curriculum design, geography curricula are tailored to reflect the dominant model in each country, emphasizing either geological or cultural distinctions. C, Latin American educational systems. Model used, six continents model, America as a single continent, teaching approach. The Americas are taught as a single continent, focusing on the unity and interconnectedness of North and South America. Cultural emphasis, curricula often highlight the shared history, culture, and economic ties between regions of the Americas. D, Asian educational systems. Predominant models, seven continents and six continents, Eurasia. Variation by region. East and Southeast Asia. Typically adopt the seven continent model, influenced by Western educational standards. Central and Western Asia. Some regions use the Eurasia model, recognizing the geographical and cultural continuity with Europe. Integration of Western models. Many Asian countries incorporate Western geographical models into their education systems due to globalization and international standards. E. Australian and Oceania educational systems. Model used, seven continents model. Teaching approach. Oceania is recognized as a distinct continent, including Australia, New Zealand, and the Pacific Islands. Geographical focus. Emphasizes the unique marine and island geographies that define Oceania. Hasher F, African educational systems. Model used, seven continents model. Teaching approach. Africa is taught as one of the seven continents, with detailed coverage of its diverse regions, cultures, and geographies. Educational resources. Emphasis on Africa's physical geography, historical significance, and its role in global affairs. Four, comparative summary. Of continental models and educational systems. Model. Description, regions, countries, using this model. Asia of country, if, if. Region of countries, regions, countries, using this model. Model, Nerdil. Seven continents model, seven. Africa, Antarctica, Asia, Europe, North America, South America, Oceania. North America, most of Europe, Australia, Oceania, Africa. Six continents model, America as single, six. Africa, America, North, South, Antarctica, Asia, Europe, Oceania. Many Western and Southern European countries, Latin America. Six continents model, Eurasia. Six Africa, North America, South America, Antarctica, Eurasia, Oceania. Russia and some Central Asian countries. Five continents model. Five, Africa, America, Asia, Europe, Oceania. Olympic Games, some international contexts. Number five, conclusion. The number of continents recognized worldwide typically ranges between five and seven, influenced by geographical criteria, cultural perspectives, and educational systems. The seven-continent model is the most widely taught and accepted globally, particularly in North America, Europe, Australia, and Africa. The six-continent models, 
either combining the Americas or Eurasia, are prevalent in certain regions and contexts, such as parts of Europe and Latin America. The five-continent model is used primarily in symbolic contexts like the Olympic Games. Understanding these different models is essential, especially in our increasingly globalized world, where geographical literacy enhances cross-cultural communication and international collaboration. Educational systems tailor their curricula to reflect both global standards and regional perspectives, ensuring that students receive a comprehensive understanding of the world's geographical landscape. Thank you.